Step number 10, managing your time and your wellness. And I wanted to leave you with sort of a sense of how you might put this all together in terms of managing your time. Because I really like this story that came from this executive, in, I think, in the oil and gas industry. You can find the, the articles I shared here. But they were, in, they were being interviewed by this person focusing on careers for PhDs. And they talked about this 80-10-10 rule. And you can read it. But basically, 80% of their time, they said, during their work week, during that period of time when they're doing work, they do the best work that they can do, you know, 80% of the time. 10% of their work week, they spend improving themselves, focusing on their professional development, networking with people, gaining new knowledge and new understandings. And then 10% of that time is spent telling people what a great job that they do, right? So the, that 20% is basically your networking, integrated into your work week. And I underline work week because ideally you're protecting your not work week time, right? Your family time, your leisure time, because that's important to you. You're going to be more optimistic and more effective and more confident when you protect your personal wellness time. And I know that's totally hard to make real in every, every day and every week. But this sort of is a nice breakdown of how you can be using your time to be making progress at any point in time. So I, I leave that with you as a sense of, you know, what you can be doing to navigate and manage your time effectively. In terms of wellness, do continue to leverage the resources on campus. Leverage the Office of Postdoctoral Affairs at Penn if you have questions about what resources are available to you. If you're a biomedical postdoc, leverage the biomedical postdoctoral programs and the great staff who work there. These are resources that are here to support you. And again, prioritizing your personal wellness is a key part of this process. And, and I hope that you can advocate for that. And hopefully we can support you in that endeavor too.